Hello educators, today I'm diving into the fascinating world of chromosomes and DNA, the very building blocks that shape all life as we know it. So remember back in stage 7 when you learnt that the nucleus controls a cell's activities? Well, let's take that knowledge a step further. Inside the nucleus you'll find threads called chromosomes. These were discovered in the 19th century, when microscopes became powerful enough to reveal the cell's intricate details. Now, you might not have seen chromosomes under a microscope yourself. That's because they only become visible when a cell is dividing, and they need special stains to stand out. Here's a cool example. In this photograph, you can see a plant cell beginning to divide. The chromosomes are stained dark red with a special dye. Notice how you can't see the other structures. It's all about those chromosomes. Let's look at something a bit different, a fruit fly chromosome. Fruit flies have these thick, giant chromosomes that are much easier to spot. See how it looks like a long, striped thread. Different species have different numbers of chromosomes in their cells. Humans have 46, fruit flies have 8, and mango trees have 40. Scientists number chromosomes by length. The longest is chromosome 1, the next longest is chromosome 2, and so on. And in humans, we have two of each kind. Take a look at this photograph of human chromosomes. This picture was actually created by cutting and pasting individual chromosome pictures and lining them up by size. They don't naturally line up like this. Each looks like a cross shape because just before a cell divides, each chromosome copies itself and the two copies stay joined together partway along their length. Now, on to genes. Each chromosome is made up of hundreds of different genes arranged in a specific sequence. Each gene controls particular characteristics in an organism. For example, Chromosome 1 has about 2,000 different genes, while chromosome 15 has around 600. Scientists are still figuring out the exact functions of these genes. On chromosome 15, we know two genes help determine eye color. Different versions of these genes result in different eye colors, which is why siblings can have different eye colors, like the two sisters in this photograph. So what are chromosomes made of? A chemical substance called DNA. Each chromosome is one enormously long molecule of DNA, and thus genes are made of DNA too. DNA has a shape like a twisted ladder known as a double helix. One gene could be a length of DNA with about 2,500 twists. DNA molecules are too small to be seen under a microscope, but they were first discovered in the 1950s. Since then, we've learned a lot about how DNA determines the characteristics of all living things. DNA contains a complete set of instructions to make a functioning cell and a whole organism. If you continue studying science at HESE or O level, you'll delve even deeper into this fascinating subject. Thanks for watching, educators. Remember, the wonders of biology are just a microscope slide away. Until next time.